It's the month that every fashion junkie doors and awaits, when every designer scrambles to put finishing touches on their collections, and planes are filled with models making their way from airport to the runway. Folks, ladies and gentlemen, the Auto Winter Fashion Month has begun. As always, we begin our Fashion Month journey in the Big Apple, and here we're to give you the full rundown of upcoming trends and designs in fashion for your next chilly walk down Central Park. It seems the glimmer of Fashion Week in New York City this year has faded, with an unprecedented number of heritage New York designers not attending or showing collections this year. And there are a number of factors that have influenced decisions by the designers, one of them being the 2020 Oscars. This year's Oscars fell smack in the middle of New York Fashion Week, which presented setbacks for industry officials. The collision of these two major events created a setback for Hollywood stylists, who often pull looks directly off the runways of the New York Fashion Week for celebrities attending the Oscars. It also meant that many of the stars that typically sit front row at the fashion shows were instead preparing for one of Hollywood's biggest nights. New York Fashion Week also lost some of its major brands and designers whose names typically adorn the elite lineup, such as Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger, Jeremy Scott. Lauren released a statement confirming a special show scheduled in April to present its fall 2020 collection, following the noticeable absence from the New York Fashion Week 2020 schedule that was released. We need disruption. We need something new and fresh and evolving all the time. Despite having one of the most talked about shows of last season, after teaming up with Zendaya for the second Tommy plus Zendaya show at the Apollo Theatre, Hilfiger opted to take their fourth Tommy times Lewis collaboration with Lewis Hamilton to London Fashion Week instead. And Jeremy Scott, who typically holds the place for the most anticipated show in New York Fashion Week, cancelled his show two weeks prior to Fashion Week's commencement. Scott revealed he opted to present his fall collection in Paris during Couture Week in July. However, many have speculated his decision was made due to Tom Ford's surprise Los Angeles show. Other brands that made waves at New York Fashion Week, such as Rihanna's Savage, Fenty, and Telfar Clements, who also did not present collections. In December, Tom Ford announced that he would be taking his next runway collection to Los Angeles to view his fall collection of 2020, a mere two days before the Oscars. This decision came as a surprise, considering Ford is the chair of the CDFA, whose mission is the bolstered New York Fashion Week. This created obvious competition for New York Fashion Week, with many celebrities and models choosing to walk and attend Ford's show prior to the Oscars and foregoing their attendance to New York Fashion Week. The decision to show in February in Los Angeles feels very natural to me, as Ford told WWD. It is my home and has a strong impact on the way that I live and work, both within the film and fashion worlds. This year, the New York Fashion Week calendar overlapped with the Oscar weekend, and the last time that happened, I showed in LA, and it worked quite well. There's an excitement in LA on that particular weekend, and the relationship between film and fashion is a strong one. Many felt that this move was calculated as a statement about the lack of support for New York Fashion Week. Despite this, designer brands such as M, Sony, Baja East also joined Ford in Los Angeles for their own shows. And despite the controversy, many illustrious brands still showcased their enchanting designs for the New York elite. Oscar de la Renta's Fall 2020 collection serves some gorgeous nighttime looks to help you master the art of looking chic for your nights out in the city during winter. Set in the backdrop of the New York Public Library, the collection moves from tailored daywear to beaded fringed and crystal covered party frocks. Cara Taylor and Bella Hadid walk the finale of the show, revealing some stunning feathered looks. It appears Jack and Lazaro chose to hone the art of effortless, lazy sex appeal that has recently made itself popular amongst fashion circles. Their fall 2020 collection included asymmetrical bodycon dresses, cutouts, leather slip dresses, giant bags, and an obvious winter essential over the knee boots. Herrera brought elegance and softness with a dash of theatrics to New York Fashion Week, showcased on the backdrop of the glass walled modernistic The Shed in the Hudson Yards. Creative director Wes Grodin's designs dazzled the audience with sheer lace whites, luminous gowns with full skirts, and every shade of lemon imaginable. The real lesson in fashion balance were the simplistic belts and the flat lace brogues that were paired with many of the extravagant looks. Leila Rose has racked up quite a reputation for holding the best fashion shows in the industry. Attendees never leave the show without a feed and a party favor. 
This year, Layla Rose's show included flower arranging and cake decorating classes, as well as cocktail parties, collection viewings. The collection itself ranged due to the brand's essence, with hyper chic floral and layered patterns and the fabrics. Relaxed suiting and midi dresses worn over trousers also made their way to the forefront. It really wouldn't be a true New York Fashion Week if we didn't make mention of our beloved brand Zimmerman. The travesty of the Australian bush vase was brought to the forefront with the show's dedication to help Stray recover. The Fall 2020 collection offered more tailored, bold printing, suiting as opposed to its usual Bohemian beach girl vibes. Gorgeous pastel lace gowns with dramatic sleeves and high necklines, as well as a poncho or two graced the runway. 34-year-old Los Angeles-based Kenneth Nicholson set the record straight on his position in the fashion industry, stating that he's an artist that makes clothes rather than a fashion designer. So it's really about things that seem like they don't belong but all existing in harmony together. It's the most real way of expressing art in the sense that it's worn. One can communicate their internal feelings externally, the ultimate version of performance art. Said. Nicholson's collection, interestingly titled Grandma's Couch, embraced florals, crystals, figurines, sound of gospel and sports imagery, as he described it. A range of colours, textures and patterns. 70s style tailoring, a houndstooth printed skirt, suit, refined frock coats all made their way to the runway. Newcomers, Puppets and Puppets, launched just last year, already made their bold first impression on the industry with the theatrical and delicate creations. This season's collection embodied sci-fi codes, colour palettes and cuts. They were inspired by Jean Giraud's illustrated storyboards for Alejandro Jodorowsky's doomed adaptation of Dune. And although Carly Mark and her former assistant, Ayla Argentina, trained in the Fine Arts School of Visual Arts and Fashion Design at the Fashion Institute of Technology, they stated that Puppets and Puppets' creative influence was born from disillusionment within the art world. I discovered that the art world is more corporate and commodity-based than I originally thought. Art pretends to be visceral and emotional. Fashion doesn't pretend to be anything other than a business. So I feel they almost do the inverse to what they're meant to do. We spend months putting together a show, and here and then, it's gone. And we do it because we love it, not because it makes us rich, said Ma. Francetti, born and raised in Rome, is now based in New York. She endeavours to find the perfect balance between creative and commercial. For her collection, Francetti presented an interesting take on the modern woman's jacket, presenting slouchy silks in magenta, an interesting rendition of the little black dress with a hooded long sleeve mini dress and miss buttoned glossy puffer jackets. Staging the show in the General Society Library gave the show a studious vibe and only emphasised with many of the models being adorned with thick rimmed glasses and backpacks. I observe what women wear on the street. I am to give them the looks, the tools to express themselves, feel comfortable, powerful, professional, naughty, sexy, tough, or simply have fun, said Franchetti. Street style during Fashion Month is perhaps as influential as the gorgeous designs that grace the catwalks and runways. And every season, we looked at the celebrities and fashionistas that make their way into Fashion Week for inspiration, making muses of the street fashion innovators. And you can see all the carousel of these looks if you go to Fashion Industry Broadcast and look at our collection for 2020.